increase the production of the hero, yeah, the hero capacity. Um, so that'll help us out on the technological stage. And I think we'll just let this town uh, grow happily as it can. Now, um, a lot of people working over here. And our empire is starting to grow quite uh, considerably, so that is very, very good. Now, in the meantime, I wasn't really sure about this before, but I might just be able to build an extractor. Yeah, I could build an extractor here just right off the bat, but I can't cap this location for whatever reason. Maybe it's because I... No, well, no, both of these locations are outside of the fog of war, which is kind of weird. Oh, I see. The... the, the well, no. Oh, I see. There, there are different types of reactors for these locations. So I think now that we've um, sort of established our presence inside the area, we've secured a large landmass, I think we'll wait a bit until we do any more uh, military stuff, just because currently, I, I think in the grand scheme of things, we, we're controlling so much that we just don't really need to do much from there. And I'll get our guys to research advanced alloys and advanced armors, because our hero, I plan on making like a huge amount of hero units, uh, because they, they seem like the, the coolest type of things to use here and there. I'll get them to build a seed storage over here, and I'll fast forward the production of that because it costs like barely anything to do that one. And I really just want these people to... Oh, I see, they can also uh, pacify a little village here. Yeah, we have the option of rebuilding one of these um, little assimilated villages so that we can use it a little so then we can incorporate them into our faction but it looks like that's on the very edge of the zone so i think i'll wait on that i don't believe it actually matters that too much but just for just for safety's sake i think i'll ease up on it and we'll just push forward from here so yeah seed storage is completed that'll allow this town to grow much faster which will be really really nice um Construction is being completed everywhere, so we'll just hurry that. Oh no, I forgot to put a thing in the queue. I'll get him to build a glass steel re uh, extractor over there. And it looks like they've, uh, they're have they sending more troops against me. Hmm. Come on, Marine, there we go. So I think I'll get the marines to join up with Petrov, Judith's force. Oh, I see. They're already at four units. Never mind them. Because what I want to do is that I want to take out this group, and I think I'll just let it do it automatically. I want to start to uh, build extractors, because there is actually an overarching quest. There's a faction quest inside the game, and it's, it's I mean, it's effectively a... A, uh, a main storyline for your particular faction. So um, the first one for it, it looks like it's just to build two strategical uh, extractors. Oh, and it looks like we also had a fur another one over here um, talking about the assimilation of those people. So I want to complete those. And I think after I complete that one, we'll have a little bit of time to uh, really read out what the story says right there and how it really plays out. I'm just going to get our guys to cap these uh, two locations really fast. Because I believe we need two reactors, or two extractors of the types. Oh, and I see, if we hurry production, we can actually build multiple things per town. That's really cool. Oh, that's why I turned an end. We have faction plans that we can set. So yeah, we can spend some of our influence points to, to sort of get these things. Um, I'm just going to continue going this through this Empire and Expansion tree. Um, I don't think I talked about this earlier, but I've been going down this path, and this this is the reason why I can buy these buildings for super cheap. You may have noticed that in the past I tried to buy a few marine units, and when we didn't have a lot of gold, I couldn't buy them, but I could buy the uh, the buildings, namely the seed production one. This is because I have a little building cost reduction bonus here, and I think I'll just continue that, mainly because it it's just super useful for us. Like, yeah, I can buy these structures for, like, 45 um, dust, and I generate 86 per turn. So, bloop, that caps off everything, and that gets this one done. 
So that's cool. That gives us a deep diviner. Oh, it's an item. Oh, let's see what this does. Um, gleaming effects. One initiative on the unit. Effects titanium. So maybe it makes our, st our units stronger as well. That's kind of neat. Winter has started. Uh oh. Oh, I see. It's scripted, so it looks like the, that has drawn attention to a few different armies wandering about the map. And I think we're just supposed to take those things out. Um, I think I'll end this part right here, and when we continue, we'll play this a little bit more. I think we've already done quite a little bit of stuff today. And we've explored quite a few game options here and there, some of the siege battles and stuff and such like that. So, as always, you know, if you guys have enjoyed the video and have not done so, um, be sure to like the video and subscribe, of course. And if you guys have anything special that you'd like to check out, you know, mention that as well. See you guys next time.